Hello everyone. Today we are going to make the radar system project using Arduino Uno. We need two components for this project. First one is Arduino code. Second one is processing software. So in order to visualize the graphical representation, we need a software called processing. That software can be downloaded freely. It's a open source software. It is available in the internet. We can download freely. Normally, the radar systems are used for production purpose. It can be used in the Navy and then Army. Also, Coastal Guard Productions also used radar system. Meteorological Department also used in this radar system for climatic condition predictions. So today we are going to make a simple radar project using Arduino Uno. Let's get started. So we need certain components to complete this project. We need a breadboard servo motor, ultrasound sensor, and then Arduino Uno. We need a cable, USB cable to upload the code, Arduino code. And we need a few jumper wires to connect the breadboard and the Arduino board servo motor. First, I take the double side tape to fix the servo motor. We have to fix the servo motor strongly. While operating the servo motor, the tape should not remove from the board. So make sure the bond should be very strong. Then I take another double side tape to fix the ultrasound sensor in the top of the servo motor. So while rotating the servo motor, the ultrasound sensor should also rotate. So we fix the servo motor ultrasound sensor look like this. Next, we have to place the Arduino board in the breadboard and then we have to connect these pins as per the pin diagram shown in here. You have to carefully read the pin diagram because pin diagram is very important. If you are making the connection wrongly, the system will not work. So that the pin diagram is very important. Look at this pin diagram. The ultrasound sensor having 4 pins and then servo motor having 3 pins. Totally 7 pins we have to connect in the Arduino board. Uh, first I take the ultrasound sensor connection. Uh, apart from the 4 pins, 2 pins are used to give the power which means that VCC and ground. Remaining two pins are signal pins. In ultrasound sensor there are two pins uh, used for signal. Uh, one is echo pin, another one is trigger pin. That uh, echo pin is connected to the 10th pin of the Arduino board. Arduino board having 13 uh, digital pins. So we are uh, connecting the ultrasound sensor in the digital pins. Echo pin should be connected in the 10th pin of the Arduino board. Trigger pin should be connected in the 9th pin of the Arduino board. And then VCC should be connected 5 volt or V in pin in the Arduino board. Ground pin should be connected in the ground pin of the Arduino board. So this is the connection for ultrasound sensor. Then coming to the servo motor. Servo motor having only 3 pins. For 2 pins used for the power, 1 pin for signal pin. Okay, Signal pin normally coming under orange color wire in the servo motor. That pin should be connected in the lounge pin of the Arduino board. And then uh, VCC pin should be connected 5 volt or V in pin on the Arduino board. Ground pin should be connected in the ground pin of the Arduino board. So this is the uh, pin configuration, make sure the all pins are connected very tightly. Sometimes the jumper wire make loose connections. Okay, we have to avoid the loose connections. If the connections are loose, the servo motor and the ultrasound sensor will not work. We, we have to run the servo motor in 180 degree and then ultrasound sensor also should rotate along with the servo motor so that the system will detect the object. So make sure all connections are made tightly as per the pin diagram. So this is how after making the connection, all connections. Now uh, we have to upload the code. Second part of this project is for uploading the code. As already mentioned, we need two codes. First one is Arduino code. In order to control the servo motor and ultrasound sensor, we have to write the code in the Arduino board. First we will see the Arduino programming. Uh, for that we need uh, Arduino IDE, it is available in the Arduino official website, you have to download that. Then open the IDE and uh, you take the code I given in the description box and uh, just copy and paste into the IDE environment. Look at this uh, code, there are bunch of lines are written. 
top of the code i wrote include servo and then i defined pin configuration in that page look at this code trigger pin is connected in the 9 and echo pins connected with the 10th pin of the arduino, arduino board as already we made that connections make sure that same pins are configured here also servo pin connected in the 11th pin of the arduino board so one thing we have to note here we are using servo motor for that we have to include the library for that we have to go for sketch include library if you are clicking that include include library there will be a drop down menu will open then we have to choose the servo if you click the servo the servo library included in the arduino program then we have to check the port whether the arduino you know port is connected and we have to check the board whether it is arduino you know or not after that we have to verify the code uh, clicking the tick mark button present in the Arduino IDE. If you are clicking the tick mark, the compilation process will take place. Verification process also done. If there is any error present in the code, it will uh, detected in the red color lines. So in this code, there, is, there will be no error detection. So the compila compilation process will be successfully completed. Then we have to click the arrow mark to present the tick mark for uploading the code into the Arduino board. So this is how the code will be uploaded to the board. Next component, we have to go for processing software in order to visualize the graphical representation. For that, we, first we have to download the processing software. The software link can be given in the description box. First to open that link and download the software. After installing the software, you have to click the icon, processing icon present in that uh, uh, desktop. If you are cl uh, pr clicking the processing icon, there will be a ID environment open for, uh, for using the processing software. Here also we have to give the code. The code will be given in the description box. You have to use that code in order to get the visualization. After opening the board, just to copy and paste the code given in the description box. Uh, so this is the code I already made. I just copy the code from the note file and then just selected all the lines and then just make the copy and then just paste it into the processing IDE. So here we have to make one correction. If, if you scroll the uh, program in the top there will be a port com there is a line called com so we have to define the com port when the arduino ide we, we upload the port which port the, uh, we have to connect it in the arduino the same port should be mentioned here processing software suppose if you are connected com3 here we have to write it the code com3 it depends upon the uh, board and ID used. Uh, Arduino ID, there are uh, different type of versions also used. Also, Arduino Uno also, there are different type of boards are uh, used. So, according to your uh, board and uh, port, you have to select the same port to the here, processing software also. After selecting the COM port, if you click the run button, the graphical page will be immediately open. You see here. So, it will show the range of uh, uh, coverage using these arrow marks. So this is a very nice graphi graphical re representation. See here in this uh, graph, the red color and the green color uh, markings are present. Okay. So this is the graphical representation of radar project. So next component is testing. Let's go for testing. So this is the testing part. Here I make the all connections and I uploaded the code. Uh, just see the system is working very perfectly. If you look at this uh, picture, the servo motor will rotate the ultrasound sensor in one, 180 degree. The simultaneously the graph also uh, shows the range of coverage. There are two things we have to noted. One is in this graph, 
green color range and the red color range will shown the red color marking is clearly indicate that there will be a object present in the particular place if any object is present the red color mark will shown in the graph there is no if there is no object is detected there will be a no red color marking only green color graph only appear another thing is we have to note when object is detected the red color mark as well as the distance also we can measure how much distance far away from the sensor also we can noted from that graph this is how the system will work we can easily identify the object and the distance from this graph thank you for watching please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you